Hey everybody, this is uh, Scott Spoon with Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. Just want to let you know we're an AWS educational institution member as well as a Scent School. But um, we're going to do this on some 625 ink and nail. Uh, here's the wire we got from Cormet. These guys are up in uh, Michigan. They provided this wire for this video. It works real good. Uh, this nickel content in here is 58 percent they use this in uh, nuclear plants chemical plants anywhere there's a high temperature with um, a lot of corrosive chemicals running through it just does good with withstands the heat and the corrosion but uh, here's the fit we're going to use it's, it's a tight gap it's a little less than 332 and if you got to run it about 90 amps 90 to 100 amps and uh, some people uh, i'm pushing the wire a little bit from the face uh, a lot of people might want to put a little land on it. You'll have to play with it to see, but it's a, it's a dead puddle. Uh, as you can see here, the the uh, flux around on this rod, I like to scrape it off one side, but I ran it on this one with uh, the flux all the way around that wire. Uh, it, it does cause the arc to flicker a little bit, but um, when you scrape it off one side, uh, it's not as bad, and uh, it just doesn't mess with the arc as, as much. The, um, the way I'm doing this is I, I'll start up on the sidewall as you can see and then I'll add some wire and just roll it into the, into the bottom of the joint down there and, and just keep going with it. And there's a trick to stopping too. Uh, I try to stop and I try to pull out and come up the wire, the filler wire as I'm, as I'm taking out of the puddle. So it's, uh, it, it keeps from leaving a big crater and uh, I'm such a bad fish eye. So. Here's a look at the inside of the pipe. You can see it, it turns out pretty good. Um, it's shiny, and there's no wrinkles. Uh, it, looks, it looks decent. And uh, the flux pops off. And there, here's a look at the top side. So it, it leaves a pretty bead inside and out. Uh, congratulations to Cormet. They, they got it going on with these uh, flux coated wires. But uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. We're going to be doing some consumable inserts and uh, some other things. So stay tuned.